What's going on everyone? My name is Wade Patterson and I'm so happy you've landed on this video, which is the sixth in an eight part series on impactful communication on social media. The first video I did was all about Facebook and birthdays and taking the online offline. The second video was about LinkedIn and things like leaving a recommendation or writing a post, publishing a post or doing a LinkedIn story. The third video was about Instagram and how you can make the most out of DMs and Reels. The fourth video was about Twitter and how so many people are talking and not that many people are listening. And if you listen, you'll reap the benefit. And the last video was about YouTube and how by interviewing other people, you can actually grow your channel quicker. In this video, I'm really excited because I'm talking about a brand new social media app that seems to be all the rage, and that is Clubhouse. So you might be wondering, what is Clubhouse? It is an audio-only social media app which feels like a 24-7 conference where you can choose any topic, any subject you want, and you can be in a room with the likes of Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg or Damon John from Shark Tank or all of these people who have recently, in the last few weeks, been using this social media app. It is innovative and there is so much potential for how you can leverage it and how I see people building their personal brands or their business brand on this platform by being thought leaders in the space. Now, before I jump into the positives about Clubhouse, let's talk about the negatives. The negative, sorry Android users, is that Clubhouse is currently only available on Apple products such as the iPhone or iPad. Therefore, there's a huge segment of people who are kind of blocked out of using Clubhouse for now. However, don't let that deter you from learning about it because eventually Clubhouse is going to be available on Android, of course. And once you have availability to it, you're going to want to hit the ground running because like I said, there are a lot of opportunities in this space. The other downside, I guess, could be perceived as that is that it is invite only. So to join Clubhouse, you actually need somebody to send you an invite code. Now, many people have these who have joined, they have extra invites, and these can actually be earned by interacting and engaging more on the platform. Therefore, don't panic too much if you haven't been invited yet. Likely, you can reach out to your social media network and someone will have an extra Clubhouse invite they can send you, or you can comment below on this video. I'll do my best. I have a few kicking around right now. I'd be happy to invite you to the platform. So what is it? Once you're in Clubhouse, how does it work? Well, basically you build your profile just like you would build any other social media profile. And once you're within the Clubhouse app, you can start following different subjects or topics you're interested in. For example, for myself, I'm interested in real estate. So that's one of the areas I follow. I'm also interested in cryptocurrencies. And there are many different people and channels that I can connect with. And this auto builds kind of a news feed for me of different rooms that I can join at any given time, which may be of interest to me. You can also start following other people who perhaps you already know on Clubhouse. There'll be a big list of suggested people to follow when you join. And when you follow these people, you can see in real time who is participating in which room. Therefore, if you see one of your good friends or colleagues in a room, you might jump into that room so you can be involved in the same conversation. When you jump into a room, your mic is automatically muted and you are a member of the audience. You can't just turn your mic on at any point and start talking. In order to do that, you need to be invited to what they call the stage, which is a virtual term which basically explains you have access to turn on your mic and also to mute yourself. If you'd like to be up on the virtual stage or if you'd like to ask a question, you can raise your hand, which is an icon in the bottom right hand corner, and that essentially allows a moderator to bring you up and you will have the ability to turn on your mic when asked, which is just the little microphone button, and then when you're finished speaking, the etiquette is to mute yourself afterward. And if it's a collaborative conversation, you can stay on the stage or you can leave quietly as well. 
If you're interested in leading a conversation, I think that is where this opportunity lies. And that's my biggest tip. I promise I'd give tips for different social media networks. The tip for Clubhouse is to first off, just start using it. Start popping into rooms, start experimenting, start learning, because there is so much great information being shared on this platform. But the second tip or challenge with Clubhouse is to actually host a room to moderate a room. And one method that tends to work well is to invite other people who kind of act like panelists who are going to be part of the discussion. So you can create this discussion and almost treat it like an interview, but then as people join in the room as well, since you're a moderator, you can request that somebody comes up on stage and and unmutes themselves and gets involved in the conversation, Or you can verbally just ask people to raise their hand if they would like to participate in the conversation because sometimes people will be on the go, they'll be busy doing something else and they don't have access to quickly grab their mic and start talking. Therefore, by leaving it up to them to raise their hand, if they want to speak, if they want to say something, they will have the ability to do so on their own. But by leading these rooms and by getting comfortable with moderating these conversations, again, you are putting yourself across as a thought leader in the space, as somebody who has expertise, as somebody who is giving value and content and facilitating a conversation around what other people are interested in. The number of people doing this, there are more and more every day that are taking on Clubhouse conversations but it is so early. If you were watching this video when it is close to the release date of when I release it, you are early. You are going to be one of the first to do this. And like so many things with social media, the biggest benefit happens when it's early on. That's usually where the biggest ROI is. I hope this video on Clubhouse, the sixth video in the series was helpful for you. Hopefully you learned something about this new social media app. I would appreciate it if you checked out the other videos in this eight-part series, which all have tips about how to be an impactful communicator on social media. If you liked this content, then give it that like, thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, turn on notifications. All of the above would be amazing. Thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you on the next video.